Uh, hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to uh, solve uh, worksheet number four with you uh, to make sure that you understand uh, how to solve it. Uh, at the same time, I'm going at the same time I'm going to uh, explain some uh, chemical formula how to write them. Uh, let's start with the first equation. Equation number one: You have calcium plus oxygen O2. Uh, it gives the product uh, calcium oxide. Here in this reaction, as you see, we have the reactants on this side, and you have on the other side the product. Uh, always mess between the reactants and the product. You the product you put an arrow. You don't put equal. Equal is wrong. Okay, this one is wrong. Don't try uh, equal uh, sign. Just an arrow. Uh, to start to uh, balance this equation, we separate first reactants from the product. These are the reactants here, before the arrow, after the arrow, are the products. Uh, now I have to put what are the elements in the reactants and what are the elements in the products. So now here you have calcium, also you have here oxygen in the reactants and the other side you have also the same type of elements for sure you have calcium and oxygen. Now you have to put how many oxygen atoms and how many calcium atoms on each side. For calcium as you see you have only one calcium atom, so it's one, you write it like this and you have this subscript uh, represent how many oxygen atoms so we have in this molecule two oxygen atoms the subscript always is small okay uh, now here in the products we have also one calcium atom and one oxygen atom now depending on the conservation of mass the number of elements in the reactant should be equal to the number of elements in the product for each type. For calcium, we, you have to follow the steps. First, you have to start with uh, metals, then non-metals except hydrogen and oxygen. After that, you start with uh, balancing hydrogen, then oxygen. In this equation, we have calcium and oxygen, so the metal here is calcium. As you see, number of uh, calcium atoms in the reactants are equal to the num number of calcium atoms in the product. So I have to move now to oxygen atom. Uh, oxygen, you have two oxygen atoms in the reactant, but we have one in the product. So how to balance it? How to make it the same? They should be the same number. By put, you have to put to change this one into two by putting coefficient two in front of the whole molecule. So this coefficient, it means you have two calcium oxide molecule and this two, it's for both. For you have to multiply it for calcium, and you can you multiply it with number of oxygen you have here now. How many oxygen atoms? We have changed a uh, number of oxygen atoms into two. At the same time, uh, at this two it's for calcium and for oxygen. So you have changed calcium into two calcium atoms. So. Now, for, for oxygen, it has been balanced, so it's correct. Now, I still I have problem with uh, calcium. I have changed calcium into two, but in the reactants, I have only one. So, by putting coefficient two here in front of calcium, so you will change number of calcium atoms into two calcium atoms. So, so now the re uh, equation it has been balanced. So this one is correct. Number of reactants in each for each element in each side the same. Uh, I have finished from this one in the worksheet, but I want to uh, make a review for chemical formula. Uh, in this reaction, as you see, you have calcium oxide, which is the product. So why calcium oxide? It was written in this way, CaO. 
Now we want to understand how to write this chemical formula. Calcium oxide, it means, as we uh, mentioned before, how to write the chemical formula. The first thing you have to write the chemical symbol. For calcium, the chemical symbol is a Ca. For oxide, which means oxygen, so the chemical symbol is O. Okay. Now, how to write the correct number of atoms for each one of them? You have to go back to the periodic table and see what is the uh, uh, calcium in which group. Calcium in a group 2, so it has two valence electrons. So the uh, ion uh, that has been uh, made here, it has a positive 2 as a charge. So the charge for calcium is positive 2. You put it uh, at the top of calcium. Uh, what about oxygen? Oxygen in a group 6, so it will gain 2 electrons, so the, it, so the charge of it is negative 2. As you see here, calcium, one calcium atom, it will lose 2 electrons. Oxygen, it will gain these 2 electrons. So these, because we have the same charge, they will cancel each other. So these 2 now, they will be cancelled because one atom of calcium with one atom of oxygen. So at the end, you have this chemical formula, CaO. So put it in your mind, when number of electrons are lost are the same with number of electrons are gained for both elements, so they will cancel each other. You po don't put number two here. It's wrong. Don't put number two here and number two here because they have uh, uh, been uh, cancelled. Okay, so you don't put it because it's only one calcium atom with one oxygen atom. So the correct chemical formula it's CaO. So this one here is the correct chemical uh, formula. This one CaO. That's why we have it here CaO. And now I'm going to solve with you uh, equation number three in the equa in the worksheet. Uh, number two, three, and four. You can follow the same steps to uh, to uh, balance them. So I'm going to solve with you now uh, equation number three. In equation number three, uh, you have potassium uh, plus oxygen. It will get potassium oxide, which is a K2O. Uh, as we said, the first step we have to put uh, separate them. You have here the uh, reactants, and here you have the products. Uh, so, put first what are the elements in the reactants? You have potassium, you have here, sorry. Potassium, which is K. Uh, also, you have oxygen. You don't have any other elements. Only in the reactants, you have oxygen and uh, potassium. In the product, the same thing. You have potassium and you have oxygen. Now, we want to put number of atoms for each element in each side. In the reactant, how many potassium atoms? You have only one in the reactant. How many oxygen atoms? Yeah, they are two oxygen atoms. Uh, in the product, how many uh, potassium atoms? As you see here, you have here subscript 2, K2O. This subscript represents number of potassium atoms, which means you have two potassium atoms. And uh, you have how many oxygen atoms? You have only one oxygen atom. Uh, to make the balancing, follow the step we started. We starting first with a uh, metal, then the non-metal. The metal here is potassium. As you see here in the reactant, you have only one, but in the product you have two. How to make number of a uh, potassium atom in the reactant the same as in the product? You put coefficient two in front of uh, potassium. Okay, so you have now K2. You don't put it down here, it's wrong. So you put it where? In the front of the element. 
Okay, now you have a uh, you have changed the number of potassium atoms. So now we have instead of one in the reactant, we have two. So we have in the reactants and the product the same number of potassium atom. Let's move now to nonmetal. The nonmetal here is oxygen. Oxygen in the reactant we have two oxygen atoms, but in the product we have only one oxygen atom. How to make number of oxygen the same? You have to put here in front of the whole molecule number two. So this is this coefficient two. You have changed now number of oxygen into two atoms. But but in your mind. When we put coefficient, we don't put it between potassium and oxygen because it's one molecule, okay? You put the coefficient for the whole molecule and this coefficient for both, for now for potassium and it's for oxygen at the same time. So, which means you have a changed now number of potassium. So, number of potassium atom are now this two, it will be multiplied with the subscript two. So, now we have not two oxygen potassium atom, we have instead four potassium atoms. Okay, now. Uh, we have balanced oxygen, no problem with oxygen now, but we have a problem. We have to go back to potassium. I have changed number of potassium into four. It was two before. So how to change a two potassium atoms now in the reactant into four? You can you uh, multiply it now or you put coefficient uh, four in, uh, in the front of potassium instead of two. So you have now four potassium atoms in the reactants. This one has been changed instead of two. So this reaction, uh, this equation now has been balanced. Uh, after we finished balancing, let's go back to the chemical formula. I want to talk about potassium oxide here. For potassium oxide, it was written as K2O why this chemical formula was written like this potassium oxide as we learned before you have to write the chemical symbol for each one potassium which is k oxygen oxide which is oxygen O. Oh, you bought these two now it's an ionic compound metal and non-metal you have for potassium it's in if you go to the periodic table you will find it's in a group one so it will form an ion with a charge positive one for oxygen, it's in a group two, so it will form an ion uh, with a charge with uh, sorry with negative uh, two. You put it at the top of each element like this. Then you make a crisscross uh, multi uh, method here. The uh, the uh, the number of electrons or the charge of oxygen it will be. A number of atoms for potassium and the charge of potassium will be number of atoms of oxygen so here you put it down without without putting a charge it will be like this now so it's K you put here to the charge of oxygen 2 as a subscript here down a small one very important to put it small and then you put oxygen for oxygen you don't put in front of oxygen one because it's number one we don't write number one so this is the chemical formula of potassium oxide uh, and i want to uh, you know, to know that the coefficient in front of k2o which is two that means you have now two molecules of K2O. And next time, I'm going to continue solving the worksheet. Uh, thank you for listening now.